Hey there, I believe we're on day five. So uh, today it's gonna be more of a standing with weights. Um, I just have two pounds if you wanna do three or with cans of soup, um, you can. So if you have the weights already in your hand, if you just wanna stand with them, you can. But just stand here and kind of just be aware of rocking forward towards the balls of the feet and then rocking back towards the heels of the feet. And then rocking forward and rocking back and then rock side to side. So rock on the inside of one foot and on the outside, really just exploring the edges of your feet. Inhale as you do one side and exhale as you do the other. Now try to find that place where you have as much weight on the heels, a little bit more of the, on the heels than the balls of the feet, but then equal weight distributed between the inside and the outside of each foot. And then you can keep your eyes open, but then try to close your eyes. And this is when it gets hard to actually balance. Of course, if you need to put your feet further from each other, do, but if they're in closer to each other, it might be a little harder and you just might have to kind of feel your way to, find your, to figure out your balance. So try to take a breath here in and out through the ribs. And then let's stay on that gratitude thinking and just think th three things that we're grateful for. And three breaths as you do that. So take a slow breath, think one thing you're grateful for, and then your next breath, something else. And then just one more time. So I like using the body as kind of a meditation because just be where it is and feel it and sense it and kind of be aware of your alignment. And if your thinking mind doesn't wander and you're very present in this moment, then that's a good meditation. So from here, I'm just gonna turn to the side so you can see, kind of have your knees stay above your heels as you reach your hips back, inhale and exhale up. A lot of times people kind of round their back here, but Really, it's from the hips that I want you to crease and come back and then come back up. And then do that again. Inhale and come down. And exhaling up. Inhaling. And we're just hip distance. While going in a deeper squat can be very functional, sometimes people don't have the best form. While you do this, what are what is the weight distribution on your feet doing? You don't want to be too much on the outside or too much on the inside. And you don't even want too much on the heels. You want your whole foot to get work. And then let's do two more. And then come and do one more time here. All right, so now keeping your hips still, let's twist the ribs to one side, exhale. Inhale, come into the center, and then exhale and twist the other side. Inhaling and exhale. Inhale and exhaling. Yeah, so you're not necessarily trying to move the hips. You're trying to really figure out how to twist from the ribs. So the other interesting fact is as you twist, so as you twist left, your left leg should actually be rotating in. And then as you twist right, your right leg should be rotating in. A lot of times if people have hip back pain, it's because that same leg seems to get stuck and rotate out and you actually want an internal rotation. All right, so let's come and grab your weights if you haven't. So then you're gonna hug your elbows into your side body and then come and do bicep curls. And then exhaling and up, inhale. So the palms can be up, the palms can face each other, the palms can also be down, but just no matter what you choose, the wrist should be in a straight line. They shouldn't be bending or moving like that. They should be nice and straight as you bicep curl. If you wanna add a squat, you can squat down, come up, bicep curl. Inhale down, exhale up. And exhale. And if some of this doesn't feel good, if you have a wrist problem or you don't like squats, then just do the upper body. There's the other videos too that you can go and review if you want more of the lying down abdominals. Inhale. And then let's do four more, whatever your choice is with squats, without squats. Good. So for more of a challenge, stand on one leg and then do both arm bicep curl. If you want more of a challenge, alternate your biceps. Good, and then we're gonna switch legs, starting with both arms bicep curling at the same time. 
and then one at a time. Good, two more and then come and do one more if you need to do another one to make it even feel free. All right, so now you're gonna do your squat. Your back is flat so you're not arching more as you come down. You're gonna hug your elbows in and then you're gonna do straight arm and kick back and then bend them in. So shoulders are down away from the ears and then you kick back. Inhale, exhale. Mm -hmm. So if you have a back problem, you can always kind of just do it with one arm and just to kick back and have the other arm down but trying to challenge just a little bit more whole body. If you want more of a challenge, come stand on one leg as you do it. Now it's not how great your balance is, it's how well you recover, because it's more about you handling the fall. Do one at a time alternating. Inhale and exhale. And then come and switch legs, doing both arms again. And then alternating one at a time. Good, all right, so come and stand up and then you're gonna come and bring the arms out. I like the thumbs kind of being up a little bit and then coming down. So as you come up, try not to lean back, try not to move your core so you could even lightly stand against the wall to use it as a tool versus using it as a, to kind of support you. Inhaling down, exhaling up. If you wanted to add a squat down and then you come up, we'd squat here and then you would come up. If you want to keep up with cardio, it's a really great way to circuit train and get your cardio in. And we're going to do about 10 of these. I'm sure there's counters out there wherever you are. Again, I apologize about my bad counting and do one more time here. So then palms will be up, shoulders will be down, and then you're gonna bicep curl. So you're adding shoulders to biceps so it gets just a little harder. If you wanna add more of a challenge, come stand on one leg. Yeah, even if you're all over the place, it's how well you handle the imbalance. We all fall. How do we handle the imbalance? And exhale, inhale. Good, two more, and then come do one more. So then, back to the squat, but this time we're gonna do straight arms back and straight arms down. You can come forward and that's more shoulders, and then this is more rear shoulders. Exhaling back, inhaling forward. And then scissor the arms, one arm forward and one arm back. And trying to find some sort of breath pattern as you do this. And you always want to keep the back of your neck long so you don't want to be looking down, you don't want to be looking up. Four, and three, two, and one. More of a challenge, one leg, continue alternating. We're gonna do six each side. That's four, five, six, switch legs. And one more time here. All right, so we're gonna do windmill, which is a harder challenge. I'm putting my weights down, you guys can use them. So you want this high V. A lot of times you're gonna end up here. So high V, balance on one leg, and you can squeeze the inner thighs together, hinge forward from the hip, and now rotate. I don't know how this would be a rotation, like you're rotating in a tube, bent forward. I mean, you're not going to be a complete bent forward. You might be angled like me. Yeah, and check your arms. So they come out to a T because it gets a lot easier here. Bring them back up to that high V. All right, let's switch sides. Knees, squeeze, arms. I'm just showing you from the front view. And then twisting. Inhale, exhale. So you can keep one focus point or you can kind of find three focus points or you can do a sweep of the gaze on the floor, which is gonna be the hardest. And one more time here, good. And then coming back up. All right, so let's come back to your feet down on the ground. Try to spread the toes away from the midline. 
Feel the connection down. Let's close your eyes and think of something positive that you want to be. Maybe you're a child and you want to grow up to be an amazing adult or a doctor or a veterinarian or whatever you want. Or maybe you're an adult and you want to grow up and just be happy or be able to pay the bills or hoping that everyone just is healthy and happy. But visualize yourself there. Because imagine if you were there. Imagine that you were that age that you think you want to be or that weight or that financial security that you want to be. If you were to close your eyes and be there, you're not going to see much different now. It's a feeling. So feel that feeling. Take three breaths. Bring the arms up above the head. Exhale. Come down into your heart. And your palms are up like you're opening up to receive it. And then you're bringing it down into your heart. And one more time. Thanks, everyone.